Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Legacy video. Today, guys, we're taking a look at another Prime. This one is going to be Earthstream Prime. Now, Earthstream Prime is a pretty cool card. It does have the Pokebody Berserk, where if it has any damage counters on it, it does six. Its attacks do 60 more damage from teams. Hammer Arm is now doing 90, and Megaton Lariat is now doing 120 damage, which is a lot of damage to do. And of course, we have some damage modifiers in the form of Silver Bangle and Hypnotoxic Laser and Verbank City Gym. And the partner I have gone with is going to be Dawn Fan Prime, which is Earthquake, which has 10 damage to each your badge Pokemon. So the whole idea is you Earthquake your uh, Earth Serene, get 10 damage on it, and they can attack. It can also be powered up through DC. We also have Rainbow Energy for our screen too. So before we get the video, guys, of course, shout out to our sponsor, Carcamon TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PTCGO pack codes, get them over at and TCG. If you guys are still looking to get yourself any Rebel Clash packs, you can get them over there. Or, guys, of course, if you have any codes or cards laying around that you don't need anymore, you can give Carcamon TCG your unused codes and any cards in bulk you want to get rid of. You can give them to Carcamon, guys, and they will give you some cash and extra credit for your unused codes and any cards in bulk you want to get rid of. You can also check out their buy list to get more info on that. And of course, guys, if you're still looking for any PCGO pack codes get them over at cargo and tcg any other uh, set codes like hidden fates or team up codes or maybe you're looking for the dedenne trainer toolkit code get them over cargo and tcg if you get anything from card carbon guys use code ldf at the checkout for a five percent discount on your order support the channel help yourself out and support card and tcg too shout out to card carbon guys check them out and use code ldf so let's take a look at the earth serene dawn fan deck so this is the list i'm rocking with here uh, it's a pretty cool I, it's a pretty cool deck earth Ring prime is a pretty cool card to play now its main downside is really just it has to be powered up through base uh dce dc is a little risky especially when you have to do manually attachments because this thing needs two energy to build itself up you need the basic energy or the rainbow and then you need the dc on top of it loss remover and for some ungodly reason crushing hammer is also very popular in legacy so it's a little risky but when it gets going it does pay off now, Dawn Fan Prime is already one of the best primes with Earthquake doing 1 for 60. With a Silver Bangle, this attack is 1 hit KOing a Darkrai EX, which is really good. Darkrai EX is a very popular card in Legacy. Some more stuff in the deck, I am playing at Cleffa with Eek for the setup. And then I also got a Mewtwo and a Keldeo. Uh, I am playing Keldeo here for Russian to be able to um, just get out of lasers and stuff. And also get our Dawn Fan out of the active. It does have a 4 retreat. And I also have a Mewtwo with X Ball. We already play DC. Might as well play Mewtwo as like a little like sweeper. Uh, that's it for the Pokemon. I don't play Mr. Mime because we don't want it because then we can't Earthquake our bench. Um, only other things that maybe run is like a Reshiram and a Kiramiax and a Zekrom for that extra Earthquake. Or you can also play a Smeargle in here too. Um, but I'm playing Cleffa because I like playing Cleffa. It's funner to play in my opinion. Um, going to the items now, I got Computer Search. I am playing two Heavy Balls because Heavy Ball can search you for Dawn Fan and Earth Serene. Three lasers along with one Verbank. Uh, you only really need one Verbank City because it's already a popular stadium, so sometimes you don't even need it. Um, the lasers are here for the extra damage output. Four Drunk Arm, one Level Ball. I would maybe bump up the Level Ball count to two to find Fampy, Teddy, Ursa. I got one Super Rod, one Switch, three Ultra Balls, one Verbank City Gym. I got a bunch of supporters, two Floats, two Bangles, one Silver Mirror, four DCs, three Rainbows, and five Fighting. I don't play four Rainbows because you don't need four because you already have Earthquake, so you don't need Rainbow all the time. Um, but yeah, that's it for the uh, Earthstream Prime list here. Let's go try it out, Legacy, and see how it goes. All right, let's get into our first match here. We're up against Bugmaster here with what looks to be a possible Darkrai deck, which is pretty good because we are playing Dawn Fan, which is a fighting type. So as long as we just use Earthquake with Silver Bangle, we can one-shot their Darkrai. We'll see how this goes. Uh, there's a Mulligan. We'll see how the rest of our hand is going to be looking here. Uh, another Mulligan. Rip in the chat. And okay, they got Ether, Turk Patch, and Dark Claws. All right, we'll see if we can beat this again. With Dawn Fan, this shouldn't be really that hard. Um, Dawn Fan's really going to start against Dark Types, and uh, maybe Ursreen could be decent too. If he's playing EXs, Ursreen can do a lot of damage. Speaking of Ursreen, it looks like we have to start with Teddy Ursa. Honestly, not a great starter. I don't think we're going. F if we're going second, we could try to fake Tears, which I wouldn't mind doing. Ooh, they mulliganed a lot. Okay, we are going second. I guess we could try to do fake tears here, which I don't... I guess it's fine. If we can fake tears them before they pull out of items here, we could uh, lock them for a couple turns. Then we can start attacking. Maybe with hammer arm. They did start with Jirachi. If this thing doesn't move, we could hammer arm knock it out, assuming we can find like a rainbow energy follow-up or something. Would not mind that at all. They do get rid of an end in an interviewer's questions. There's Darkrai. Pokédex, what does that do? Look at the top of the deck, put them back into any order you want. Well then. So I think we'll Ultra Ball here, probably get rid of Heavy Ball and our top deck, Get a, definitely get a Fampy down, try to get as many Dawn fans 
in play as we can to try to counteract the Darkrai. Okay, so it's Ultra Ball here. We could also just get rid of Ursarine. Uh, maybe we should have, to be honest. I don't know. Let's just get Fampy. I can hold the hand. We have Donphy and Ursarine. I might as well hold it. We have two Pokemon. I don't really see a reason why not. All right, here we go. Fake Tears. Oh, Tails. Yikes. That's pretty bad. So now they still get to play their trainers. That sucks quite a bit. If Teddy Ursa gets knocked out here, that's going to be very unfortunate. All right, we'll still see if this Jirachi moves. They attach a Darkrai. If the Jirachi doesn't move, we get a Rainbow Energy here. We should be chilling. Oof, and N. There goes our hand. We lose both Ursa and Don Fan. And the pawn. That was a, I mean, that was a good hand as well as hands go. I guess we'll see what we get here. Ooh, we would have whipped an energy, it looks like. So we would not have been able to do, um, we would not have been able to do hammer arm there, it looks like. Oh no, we, I guess not because we would have evolved, right? So our outcome would have been different. Okay, they will get a Kelio, which actually keeps the Jirachi out of harm's way. Oh no, they got a dark patch. Uh-oh, if they get one of those ethers and they hit an energy. Okay, they don't, nice. I was gonna say. All right, we're just gonna bench all three fan pieces. We're just going to end them here, I think. Don't want to Ultra Ball. Okay. Not a great hand either, to be honest with you. I think I'm just going to go Fake Tears. Okay, we get heads this time. Which is good. Now it's like impossible for them to move, I'm pretty sure. So we can uh, computer search for Rainbow Energy. And we can knock out the Jirachi here. Which I'm going to probably just do. Oh, they rushed in. They see it coming. Oh, there's Donphan number one. All right, here's what we'll do. We'll comp search. We can get Ursary now. And Darkrai can't one-shot me either. So we can get the Ursary now. And just kind of chill. I'm going to put a bangle on the Donphan. We could put it on here, but if we already get a Rainbow Energy, we're two-shotting this. So, I just want to make sure the Dawn Fan is in play. Alright, just go Drimper. Alright, we did not find the Rainbow Energy. We got another Dawn Fan. We're getting a bunch of the Dawn Fans in play. The level ball for probably another Teddy Ursa. So, we can do Hammer Arm for only 30 damage. I think we'll still do it. That's fine. Ooh, E Switch. That's actually a pretty good discard. Now they can't just E-switch to the Keldeo. I don't know. It would have been a better discard. It would have been like a Dark Patch, but I'll take what I can get. So if they have a Dark Claw here, they knock me out. If they have a Laser Verbank, they knock me out. No, they have a Laser. This is where Keldeo comes in handy. Who can end me? Okay. Hopefully they don't get a Tool Scrapper here. That's something I'm worried about is they can find a Tool Scrapper. Okay, we have triple a Dawn fan. We, that's pretty good. They could Night Spear my Teddy Ursa, which makes it harder for us to use Dawn fan. All right, they're just going to do that. Oh, 10 damage to my Dawn fan, boy. I guess that damage is relevant. We have 10 HP left. Might have to just manually retreat. Hmm. Alright, let's just go for it. I'm not going to play the Verbang down. I'm just going to try to see if I can hit an energy. Okay, we do. So we can knock out the Dark Darkrai here. We are going to have to give up three energy, which I'm not a fan of, but it's better than getting knocked out. Oh, we're going to knock ourselves out. Ooh, Ursary, no. We're going to get KO'd by our own Dawn fan. Well, that's fine. We're still knocking out the Dark Darkrai. We're still doing our thing. Holy cow. Rip the Ursarine. That laser damage was relevant enough to, for me to get knocked out. Ultra Ball. Silver Bangle. All right, Silver Bangle is really good. All right. Ursarine went bye-bye. I mean, we had the option to do Hammer Arm there. And, you know, maybe we should have just went Hammer Arm. We honestly maybe could have knocked him out with Megaton Lariat, too, in all honesty. Ooh, there's a laser again. Do they get heads this time? They unfortunately do. I think we're going to have Ultra Ball for Keldeo here. Okay, and only a chorus for five. That's not too bad. That's not a lot of cards to draw. Let's see if they get another dark ride. Ooh, Ultra Ball. Looks like they will get dark. They could also go like Sableye. We'll see if they do. 
get rid of an E switch and an Ether for yeah, there's the Dark Right EX. But yeah, once again, we just kind of just clean them up with Don Fan. Don Fan Prime, one of the best primes, if not the best. Okay, it's not the best prime, but it's one of the best primes. And we don't wake up. That's fine. They don't get energy on that. There's a float. That is literally the perfect top deck. So we can just do this. Ultra Ball. Oh, Keldeo's prized. So much for our perfect top deck. Alright, that's fine. Let's just put Rainbow Energy here. and We're just going to have to pass. Unfortunately, let's see if we wake up. No, Dawn fan, my boy. Wake up, my guy. Why are you snoozing? Yeah, this is uh, where the Keldeo would have been nice, but it's prized. Ooh, they had a Juniper off that. Yikes. They have played a lot of supporters, though, at this point. They did get rid of another Juniper there. And they do have Verbank. Kind of wish I saved the laser. Because we're looking for Ursarine. Hmm. Yeah, we might be in trouble here. Not going to lie. All right, come on, Don Fan. Wake up. Oh, my God, bro. Laser. Chill. I'm just going to save the hand. I mean, I'm not going to attach the bangle. I mean, they're not going to Darkrai. It's a little annoying. Oh, yeah. Now we wake up and we're going to get knocked out. Of course, Don Fan. Like, my guy, what are you doing? What are you doing with your life? We do need to draw a supporter soon, too. We've only played three so far. So, or four. We need to draw a supporter here so we can start attacking with Ursarine. But we can knock out the Dark Ride with Dawn Fan again. Which is pretty good. I might honestly just bring in Fampy, to be honest. I don't really want to... I, no, I guess we can bring in Ursarine. I want to draw a uh, DC. If we get a DC, we can start doing Hammer Arm on this thing. Because we just want to wait till Dawn Fan can one-shot the Dark Ride EX here. So we just kind of want to keep chilling out until... We can get our Dawn Fan 2 Earthquake, Silver Bangle, Kale, the Darkrai. That's what we're going to be saving our time for. There's an E-Switch. Oh, they might be able to attack me if they have a supporter into a good combo. They have another Juniper. All right. Oh my gosh, they actually got the attack. Bruh. That's fine. We could still let knock him out with thing anyway, so it's not even a big deal. We don't have any Gust options, so we can't just Gust the Darkrai or Jirachi to win the game. So it's going to come down to us doing our thing with Ursarine and Domfan again. But we knocked this out. They still have to take four prizes. And I mean, that's pretty hard to do considering the attackers we have in play. This deck is pretty brutal. My boy Ursarine doing its thing. And okay. See, so yeah, we're going to promote the Ursarine here, I think. Oh, but Ursarine does get knocked out by Darkrai. Maybe we should just promote the Fampy. Yeah, let's just promote the Fampy. Let's see what we draw. Yeah, Fight Energy. We can flail here for 10 damage. We'll have 120 HP. That's sort of relevant. Then we can knock him out with a hammer arm with a silver bangle. Or a hypnotoxic laser. If we ever get that option. That actually doesn't sound like a bad idea. Yeah, let's go for it. I, mm, this might be a meme, but it might be worth it. Putting this thing down to 120 HP I think is actually relevant. Because now I can get knocked out. It's a bit easier with uh, laser verbank. Yeah, call me crazy, but I'm going to do that. Now, the problem here is they uh, are going to knock me out. We still have yet to find one of our draw supporters to get a better hand. Like, we need to get DC for Ursarine. It's not looking good on that front. But the fact that we can just one-shot Darkrai just makes it super easy on us. Ooh, a Sableye. That's a little annoying. They can get back a Laser and Tool Scrapper. They might even just do Junk Hunt here, which is pretty awkward for us. They have another, They have three cards left, at least, so we could deck them out here. And they're actually going to just attack with Night Spear, which is perfect, because, yeah, now we're just going to take them out with Dawn Fan. They actually decided to hit Ursarine, which is pretty interesting. We have 6 HP, which I guess means it's a bit easier for us to get knocked out by the laser. That's fine. Let's we'll see what we draw. Finally drew a supporter. I'm going to have to play the Rainbow Energy, though, on the Dawn Fan. All right, here we go. Chorus for 6. What are we looking at? Not much. All right, guess we're just earthquaking. Taking two prizes. We might get into two. Maybe we should have played a few cards from our hand in case of an end. Got more energy. Floatstone number two. Yeah, maybe we should have just played our hand down. We might get end, but they are down three ends, so I don't even know if they have another end to work with, to be honest. I really wish we got Keldeo there off the prizes so we can rush in out of the Hypnotoxic Laser, because Laser might be what really screws me over here. We still have all of our junk arms, right? Yeah. Oh no, we have three left. That's still a decent amount. Are they going to confuse Raimi? They're going to get heads. I know that much because 
they already got ahead and laser so they're already very lucky oh they have a fourth and no oh yikes there goes our uh there goes our hand yikes bro if they actually get heads on confuse ray i knew it hmm I mean, I think we still try to attack them. No. Hmm. No, I'm not going to. I'm just gonna pass. I was thinking about doing junk arm there for level ball for Cleffa, but then we just get knocked out by Night Spear. It doesn't really seem smart. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna let them attack me. We get an energy, we just junk arm for laser. Or, yeah, junk arm for bangle or laser, whatever the case may be. Or, it has to be bangle, what am I saying? We can't get laser. Told you they would get heads on the confuse ray, and unfortunately they did. Which is now putting me in a bit of an awkward spot. Yeah, we're dead drawing two. Cheese is real. I don't know what to tell you, bro. If we don't draw something, we're gonna lose, which is pretty unfortunate. We got cheesed out of the game by an N and a Confused Ray Heads. Like, I don't know what to tell you. They have two cards left, though. We could deck them out. I could foresee that happening. I mean, two cards left isn't a lot, and uh, they still have to go through two Earth Serene. If we can get, like, a Mewtwo or something down, they have to go through that, too. That'd be pretty good. Oh, they can knock out the Earth Serene, then. Okay. So we draw an energy here, we win the game. All right, come on, give me an energy. One time. That is not an energy. We're just gonna pass. They knock out Ursarine. We bring in Dawn Fan. We draw. We have another chance to draw energy. I could. I was thinking about going Cleffa, but like, Cleffa doesn't work because if they have a laser, they just win with a Night Spear. Like we just gotta let them take out my Ursarine, bro. Come on. If I know, if I actually lose this, maybe we should have gone Super Odd there and put back three energy. We can get Computer Search. Oh no, we win. We don't win. We can get computer search. Alright, maybe we are still in the game. We can get computer search here, which could buy us a turn. Oh, we actually do have supporters in the deck. Look at that. We do have our last junk arm. We need to get, like, yeah, we need to get our last junk arm here and an energy to win the game. And we got it. Oh my gosh. That almost, we should not have lost, we should, we didn't lose, but we should not have came this close to losing, bro. Seriously, we're playing against a Dark Ride deck, and we're playing a Fighting deck. That's a little close for comfort. We should not have came that close to losing. Not going to lie. That's the problem with Legacy. You brick way too hard sometimes, even when you play bunch of supporters. That was a close game, though. All right, guys, getting into a friend battle here. Uh, just, I didn't want to keep playing the Legacy ladder, and then, like, and I ended up playing as much box, and then I complete the ladder, like, get really far into it, because last time I tried to do this, I ended up completing the ladder, and I had, like, two weeks of, like, being down the ladder, and I was like, bro, that just gives me, like, no incentive to really play the game. Speaking of incentive, this is a pretty disgusting hand. If we can top deck an energy here, this hand might actually be insane. Double heavy ball with a nurse ring. The do uh, this is just this hand is amazing. I guess one of the only issues is my opponent is playing Ray Eels, I'm pretty sure they could have Raikou Ooh, and a Dawn Fan top deck. Okay, we didn't get energy Hopefully we don't get end because this hand is literally amazing. The only thing missing was an energy attachment there for for Teddy Ursa But this hand was absolutely insane dude. We get double Dawn Fan, Ursarine Come on if I do We'll see if the uh, Fan P gets KO'd. I don't think they have anything that can KO me, I'm pretty sure. Like, Dragon Pulse can do 40. I don't think they play Verbank Laser. All right, there's an Ultra Ball. Yeah, I'm praying they don't end me here. I really don't want to get in because this is a very good hand. Um, got two cards. Oh, and it's it. No. Dang it, bro. This hand was so good. Oh, rip. And we're going to get a bad hand, aren't we? Yeah, well, we get a couple Teddy Ursus, I guess. That's not too bad. Would have been nice to not get in there. Unfortunately, we got end. That hand was perfect. Ooh, they're going for the Slister War, really. Ooh, they actually get an energy, though. Okay. There's Dawn Fan. This is looking up. All right, we'll hit him with a laser. Oh, they play Keldeo, though. It might not matter. Do we want to evolve the active? I guess we do, because then they can't knock me out with Dragon Burst. I low-key want to just put the DC on the Teddy Ursa, and I think I will, just to try to get a Teddy Ursa ready. There's Pont. There's energy. Another Fampy's good. We'll just pass. We could go for fake tears, which might have bought us a turn. Ooh, they wake up. 
So they have an a fire energy here. They can hit me for 100 damage. But thanks to Exco Skeleton, they don't quite knock me out. We do have a nice earthquake we can do here, and we can hit these Teddy Ursus. Unfortunately, we didn't get any supporters off of that, which might be an issue. Again, I'm a little scared of Raikou EX, even though we one-shot it with Don Fan and a Silver Bangle. That could still snipe an Ursarine if we're not careful. I think I just had to put the energy attachment on. Yeah, okay, looks like they didn't have it. Uh, they can Dragon Pulse me, though, if they want, which they're probably going to do. No, they Celestial Roar. Really? Ooh, there goes Raikou. Ooh, another Dawn Fan. That's perfect, so we don't have to lose our fan... Or, yeah, we don't have to have fan take damage. All right, here we go. Earthquake for 60 damage. If we can draw into an Ursarine or a Heavy Ball here and they decide to stay in the active, we can knock out the Rayquaza EX here with Ursarine Prime. I don't want this to be the Dawn Fan show, which is pretty much what's been... Ooh, there's a beach. Yo, tell me they're going to retreat. They, they got to retreat. They should, like, give in Tynamo or Rayquaza. Let's see what they're doing. Are they going to retreat or not? No. Oh, I don't know why they're moving. I mean, we're not guaranteed to draw out of this, though. Yeah. Honestly? I genuinely do not mind just doing our own... Um, doing our own little trouble beach here. Don't really want to bench this Vampy, though. I also don't want to switch. I guess we can switch to Dawn Fan. Maybe we can draw more cards. We might as well do our own beach, try to get a better hand, try to get Earthstream. I don't really think Earthquake would have done much other than just putting more damage on it, which we don't need. This thing can already get knocked out by Earthstream, so I think we just want to draw a better hand. So I'm fine with just playing their Tribal Beach and trying to set up. Now, if they can get a Keldu and a Floatstone and an Energy to discard, uh, they can knock me out here with Dragon Burst. But Dragon Burst can't knock me out. They're only doing 120 damage thanks to Exoskeleton. We could just Earthquake them next turn, too, it looks like. Yeah, okay, they just Dragon Burst me. They can finish me off with uh, Dragon Pulse, I guess. This is maybe where that laser is going to come in handy. Okay. What else am I doing? I think we're going to Ultra Ball here. Definitely want to keep the bangle. We're going to get ourselves the Ursarine Prime. I also kind of want to get Cleffa. But if we really want to, we can just chill out and do Tribal Beach. So, just going to get Ursarine. And thanks to laser damage, we're going to be able to knock out the Rayquaza. This is why just sometimes playing a couple lasers in your deck never really hurts. Because stuff like that can happen. There's a Junk Arm. Can we get a Draw Supporter? We do. Kind of. And they bring in the Rayquaza. I don't know why they didn't bring in this. But next turn, we can try to attack with Ursarine, assuming we can draw here. I do want to get our own Keldeo in play. To get Jirachi. I wish I played a Gus in this deck. Like, I don't really know what I would take out, though, for a Gus card. Maybe the Switch can get cut from the deck, I guess. Because I do want to play a Catcher, but I just don't know what to take out. Ooh, they put back that Raikou. That Raikou is pretty threatening. But they can't bench it right now, so it's all good. But they do have Super Scoop Up. Maybe they can, like, scoop up the Jirachi and bench the Raikou. But again, we can always one-shot them with Earthquake. We really have to. It's not the end of the world. There's a Juniper getting played. Maybe they're not knocking me out. Are they just going to do the Celestial Roar? I don't really think that's a good idea. They probably don't have much energy left to get. Hmm, I don't know why they didn't just knock me out with Dragon Pulse. Ooh, that was a good top deck. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna Junk Arm for Switch. This is risky, but I'm very confident we're gonna get energy on Earth's Rain here. I'm very confident we're gonna find energy. Yeah, there we go. See? Told you, bro. And we get the Keldeo with the float. Don't mind if I do. We can start to do Hammer Arm. We want to get some Mercy in action, but we can hit the for 120. Now, Dawn Fae knocks me. We get rid of a float. That's a pretty good discard. It could have been worse. That could have been a, uh, could have been a Light Energy, which would have just been kind of useless for us. But we get rid of a float, which is pretty big, honestly. Um, and we also hit them for 90. So now this Rayquaza can get killed by an Earthquake. Or we can knock him out next turn with another Hammer Arm. You can kind of see how this deck kind of works out here for us. Dawn Fan sets up Earth And Earth Serene just does a lot of damage. And this is going pretty well. My opponent, I think, could have played a little bit better. But, you know, let's see what they do. Just a Shred. Okay, that does knock me out. I think we now have to just go back with Dawn Fan. Because Earth Serene can't knock this out. So we're just going to go back in with Dawn Fan here. So we draw another energy. Okay. Put that there. Now we'll touch the Dawn Fan. Okay. 
An Ultra Ball. Get rid of the Cleffa. I don't think we need that anymore. We're going to get ourselves Teddy Ursa number two in play. I think I'm just going to settle with an Earthquake. Yeah, we'll just settle with an Earthquake here. I mean, we got the Triple Dawn fan. Rayquaza is heavily damaged, and if they do go Raikou and they happen to snipe one of my Urs uh, Teddy Ursas, like, we just find Bangle and we knock it out with Junk Arm. Oh, they Juniper. Wait, why didn't... They could have played Junk Arm for Super Scoop Up. They could have... Tools... Wait, what? I don't really know why they didn't do Junk Arm there, but it looks like they are going to take me out with Dragon Burst here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really know what my opponent's doing. They definitely should have played Junk Arm there, and they could have gone Tool Scrapper or something. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't do, uh... I don't know. Alright, we're gonna knock this thing out. We still have to go through a couple more Pokemon. Again, we don't have a Gust, so we don't have a way to Gust out the Jirachi. But our game plan to win could honestly be use Megaton Larry with Silver Bangle and Laser Rubank on a knockout. We can take something on one hit by doing that. So Dawn Fan will get knocked out, but I don't want to go into the fresh Dawn Fan. That's why I didn't want it, because the bangle. Spread the energy a little bit. We're gonna Juniper here. We really need to get Ursary. Uh, there we go. We also got a Super Rod, which is really good. We're gonna play that. Get back Ursarine, Energy, and Dawn Fan. Sure. Might as well have a try to get another Dawn Fan going soon. It's gonna take a knock with Earthquake. We could have Ultra Ball there. Maybe we should have. I didn't know what to get rid of, though. I want to keep the Burbank. Maybe we probably should have done the Ultra Ball. I don't know. Hey, another Earth Serene. Let's go. Another Earth Serene ready to go. Um, we'll just knock him out, I guess, with Hammer Arm. Save the Dawn Fan. Ooh, but they do get another Rayquaza down. How many DCs are left? You got two? Okay. I don't think they're the last prize. So what we could do, if they hit me with Rayquaza here, they Dragon Burst not go Dawn Fan. Okay, no, they're going to shred. Okay. All right, we're going to go in with another one of our Dawn fans. Here's my game plan. We could just knock him out with Earth Serene, I guess. No, I think we want to go Dawn fan. We'll finish off the thing with a... We'll try to go with a Megaton Lariat here. That'll be my late game plan is to go Megaton Lariat. Let's get rid of these ends. They're pretty useless. Ah, uh, we'll take Mewtwo out of the deck. I don't think we need that. Oh, we only have one DC. All right, good thing I powered this up. Okay. Let's take the Earthquake Knockout. Okay. So we can go DCE. Or we can just go Rainbow Energy. But then we can we can try to do Megaton Larry and knock out the Rayquaza in one hit with Bangle, Verbank, Laser. How many lasers do I have left, though? We got one. We have two Junk Arms. I can't remember if the laser is my last prize or not. That's the only problem. It's a good thing my opponent hasn't prioritized Raikou. I mean, honestly, Keldeo already has a lot, of, a lot of damage on it. Keldeo could have been sniped. Okay. That's pretty good, though. They have to go three energy to KO Dawn Fan. Like, bro, Dawn Fan is just so good against some of these legacy decks. Okay, so our game plan is to try to go Megaton Lariat. There's the Verbank. Or the laser top deck, so it was in the deck. So now all we have to do is all we have to do is rip a junk arm here we win the game that's game that will be game pretty good pretty good stuff uh, i'm glad we got to show off ursarine a little bit here because we didn't really use it as much in the first game as i would have liked to but in this game ursarine is going to win us the game in one single blow thanks to its pokey body megaton lariat bodied 150 laser Furbank. KO Rayquaza, one hit KO, Ursaring Dawn fan, that's how you do it. Anyways, that'll wrap up today's PDCGO Legacy video, guys. Um, starting to rain out. Um, but yeah, that'll be it for the video. Shout out to my boy Crobat for providing the match. Once again, man, I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Ursaring Dawn fan, pretty fun deck to play. Definitely, I think, did a good job showcasing the deck there. Making my opponent go through three Dawn fans pretty tough. I have like two other Dawn fan decks built. Um, so I don't know if I want to flood you guys with Dawn Fan decks, but there's two other decks using Dawn Fan that I want to do a video on at some point. But thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe down below if you're new to the channel. 
Help me on the road to reaching 10,000 subs. Check out the sponsor, Kirkham and TCG, down below. Check out my Patreon, too, guys. If you want to pledge $2 a month, support the channel, and get access to exclusive content, guys. Check out my Patreon. You can pledge $2 a month. Support the channel. Follow me on Twitter. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.